Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. Today's question is by Devika. The question is, some of the questions look easy, you know, after the mock, but during the mock, it doesn't click. It looks very tough. Now, the problem out here is the selection of questions. Okay, let's be very clear. So when you read the question in the examination, you classified it as tough. But when you found out after the exam, you classified it as easy because you could solve it. So that means you should be able to identify whether the question is tough or easy okay based on how you solve so how do you go about improving the selection of questions i normally say that do it when you're practicing so whatever you do while practicing will also affect when you do in the actual exam so that means if i want to improve my selection of questions for every practice question i work on every time i will spend the initial 15 to 20 seconds on just trying to identify the toughness of the question for every practice question, not even mock, I'm talking about practice. You should obviously do this also in a mock paper where you should spend 15 seconds to identify the question is tough or easy and classify it. Okay, but um, it is definitely to be done in the practice. So if you can do in the practice, it should, then you should be able to get used to it and that will help you in your exam. So the solution is every 15, 20 seconds in the con practice, when you're picking up questions from the mock or when you're picking up questions from the books or anything, Read it, classify it. There are different ways of classifying. One is uh, classifying three parameters. One is, is the question familiar with you? I mean, have you heard of the topic? Is the topic familiar? Do you know how to solve the question? And can you solve in a short period of time? If it is yes for all the three, solve it and go ahead. If it is no, then maybe you can keep it for later. But then it's not necessary. It could be an unfamiliar question, could be easy, understand that. So you, over a period of time, you'll have to create your own parameter in terms of how you select a question, okay, based on practice over a period of time. So you analyze a mock, find out whether the selection of question is right, wrong. If it's wrong, why is it wrong? Why should I have not selected the question or selected a particular question? The moment you analyze more and more and write it down in a book, you'll become better and better at selection of question. And that should hopefully solve the problem that you're facing. Thank you.